In this video, I'll be showing my process of using packed texture maps in Substance Painter. I'll be showing this process in the Tiling Material Sample project. You can open this project by going into File and Open Sample. So I've imported my three textures in this project. The Albedo Normal and the ORD Packed Texture. You can also follow this method for any other packed texture. In my case, the pack texture also has an ambient occlusion map. To use that, go into your texture set settings and add ambient occlusion. The first step is to add a fill layer. Just enable the color and the normal channel in this fill layer. Now you can plug in your base color map as well as your normal map. Now to use your pack textures, right click on the fill layer and add a generator. In the generator, select the grayscale conversion option. First, I'll be adding the ambient occlusion, which is in the red channel in my case. So I'll just enable the ambient occlusion channel. I'll plug in my packed texture map in the source input. You'll be able to see that I have added the ambient occlusion to this material. To confirm that it's working as intended, you can go into the ambient occlusion channel and view that the map has been added. Now I'll just duplicate this grayscale conversion by hitting Ctrl D. Now I want to add the roughness map. So I'll deselect the ambient occlusion and select the roughness. In my case, the roughness is in the green channel. So I'll select the green channel. And if you see, the roughness map has been added. You can again cross check this by going into the roughness view to see that the roughness map has been added. If you have an ORM map, you can do the same thing for the metallic map as well. Just duplicate the grayscale conversion, select the metal channel and change the grayscale type to blue channel for the metallic. In my case, the blue channel has the displacement map. So if I select the height, uh, you'll see that the displacement map has been added. That's it for the video. I hope you found it useful.